And how's it going, everybody? Uh, if you're still watching, awesome. This is the last game in the Ape Escape trilogy. Um, this is Ape Escape 3. Um, uh, before I start, I uh, just want to give a quick thank you to SRX um, for allowing me to, um, one, not only be in this marathon, but also to do a, a sweet trilogy, uh, like a, a set of runs. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, now timing, uh, will start when our character's feet hit the ground. Uh, it doesn't start yet. I'll give you guys a countdown. In three, two, one, go! Oh, first monkey. <laughs> so as I've said, this is Ape Escape 3. Um, plot of this game is that... Uh, thank you again for the good luck, uh, PVT Cinnamon Bun. Um, is that Spectre is back and the apes are back. However, this time, instead of any type of lethargy laser, instead of any type of time travel takeover, now they're using television to make everybody, well, they're doing it to make stupid TV shows. And these TV shows are so stupid that it brings the people to who watch it um, to a sort of comatose state. And uh, the reason we are a girl this time... Um, so Spike and Jimmy from, game, from Ape 1 and Ape 2 have actually fallen prey... Uh, two Spectres evil this time. Um, so Natalie has called on Kay and Yumi to go and capture the monkeys. And the reason we chose Yumi over Kay is because there are some monkeys who see Yumi as an idol. Like they they basically worship her and they like anytime they see her they just fall to their feet and become infatuated with her like immediately. This monkey here can be kind of a jerk. Thankfully, he wasn't. So we're just moving right along. Oh, I didn't even... Welcome back. 
I'm a, I'm assuming the incentive wasn't met for viewing cutscenes. I've already skipped some. Here I go. I'm sorry. If the incentive wasn't met, then I, I guess that's okay. Can somebody please tell me if the incentive was met? I know I've already skipped some cutscenes, but we could watch the rest from here. Trying to get a clip. There we go. So this monkey, um, just like uh, there was a monkey in the last game who only activated by pushing a button. Um, that monkey's the same way. And uh. Oh yeah, we also have these uh, transformations. I should have, I should have brought up. All right, so this first one is uh, the Fantasy Night. We lost uh, quite a bit of time there due to the clip. It's no big deal. Um. But yeah, what? So was the incentive met? I don't. I don't think it was. Also, this is a. Uh, so the Freaky Monkey 5 make a comeback in this game. Uh, first, you fight uh, Monkey White in a. I guess in a giant mechanized dragon. Because that makes sense. So now. Um, this is where we find out that Spectre is the cause of everything, but of course, it's Ape Escape, we should have already known that. Just because they changed the hero doesn't mean they changed the villain.
Now we have a car. Because children can drive cars. Let this monkey go. Not mean to do that. Missed my ride. Also, I'm not sure if there's a way to skip this monkey or to get him without Oh, uh, without hitting that button. I don't believe there is. So we're going to do another clip into here, let the screen start shaking. Oh man, I thought we would have caught all of them, or uh, all except one. And I figured that one would have been the uh, one that idolizes uh, Yumi, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. Or we could have been really lucky and gotten a uh, quad catch. So, um, once again we get the Slingback Shooter, and once again it's the most broken gadget in the game. Although in this in in, uh, in this game they did kind of dial it back a little bit. It's not as broken. Also, we can run up the side of escalators, apparently.
And also, just like the last game, the monkeys are way smarter. And now not only can they get away from you trying to catch them, they can also catch they can also grab your net. and try to catch you themselves. Uh, Ultima, I, I don't believe it was... Or at least if it was, and uh... I've been skipping cutscenes up until this point. I, I'm very sorry. I had no idea. That's what I figured. Something you might notice is uh, I'm trying to get as much money as I can at the start. Uh, that's because at some point um, we're going to be going to the shop and we need a certain amount of money. Also, here's how um, this gadget is incredibly broken in this game. It allows us to uh, float our net if we there we go also pumpkin <laughs> going. Seriously, where is he going? Oops. 
So that was uh, one of the monkey uh, uh, monkeys who idolizes. Um, basically a little girl. Like, she's got her, I guess, personal monkey fan club. Which is kind of weird. So now we just got the Wild West Kid uh, transformation, and uh, this transformation, uh, this transformation, it's all right, um, but there are better ones. Also, that first monkey we were intended to shoot down, but we can just jump up, hit him with a stun club, and he'll fall. Also, I love the names they give some of the monkeys in this game. For example, the one I just caught, Uki Gigolo. Best, best name out of any of the monkeys in any of the Ape Escape games. Also, that's what I meant by monkeys can steal your net. Now we gotta call a train. Hey. Hey. And uh, here, um, so casually you're supposed to, uh, Like, ride the train to the end and go into the next area, but we're not going to leave this area. There's actually enough monkeys on this train to meet the requirement. Doing too bad now. And now we have the second of the Monkey Five, uh, Monkey Blue, who I guess in this one wanted to be a cowboy. I'll learn you the rules of the and it's normally best that you use um, the transformation you just got on the boss however we're not going to do that here so 
super quick kill for a super quick monkey. But yeah, no normally uh, you're supposed to use the Wild West Kid against Monkey Blue. Um, but the Fantasy Knight just deals so much more damage. And then at the end, um, so whenever Yumi does her uh, ground pound with a uh, with the club or with the stun club, it um, she does like I guess a spin attack. And uh, she ends up hitting Monkey Blue so many times that he dies. is a bit more of the same where I've said that these monkeys are ridiculously smart. Normally I don't have this many issues with the monkeys. Also that guy is always easy to catch. He's a fast monkey, but he's a slow swimmer. I mean, yeah, they travel through time. Uh, they built lasers. They've even, uh, cause now they're using, like, TV props. They're definitely evolving. They're learning from past mistakes. And, uh... Doing things differently now.
So after this level, I need to go to the shop and uh, pick up some supplies. And uh, with these monkeys that are on the rooftops, normally you're supposed to go up onto the roof and shoot a button to drop them down, but you can actually shoot the button from below. Just like that. triggered by this run. There we go. $449.40. Is that the uh, donation total so far? So we're just going to get some pellets, some, uh, we got a grand cookie because we don't want to die. And then we got morph sock. Which will let us transform, uh, or, you know, have more opportunities to transform. Also, I'm glad to know that Chad is alive. The uh, transformation we just got, though, is the uh, Miracle Ninja. And it's by far the best transformation in the game. Because they just gave everything to it. It runs fast, so it's got the super hoop. It uh, has, like, a little glide thing, so it's got the... Uh, got the sky flyer attached to it <laughs> you 
We can do this. Let's Out of time. Oh. oh, now we just gotta sit and wait. This actually builds up our morph gauge uh, faster. Also, this next monkey has the best name in the in, in this entire game. Batty McFats. Past these robots. <laughs> Not mean to fall. Yeah, we basically use this uh, transformation throughout 90% of the level. And also a good majority of the run from here on out. Until we get uh, the Cyber Ace. <laughs> Who needs a child that, especially if your last name is already McFats? <laughs> That's actually a good point. <laughs> You'll never win. So Monkey Yellow makes another appearance here. And this time they like to uh, shoot morning stars out of their nipples don't ask me why Also, somehow our net expanded so much that it captured um, all of that big fat monkey.
They've taken. Now, since we nearly died, we're gonna go back, get another giant cookie. Some more uh, pellets. So we just got the uh, the last gadget that we're going to be getting in this game, which is the Sky Flyer. Um, but I guess to make up for it, they give you, you know, they also give you the transformations. So yeah, the rest of this level is pretty, pretty straightforward. Now, what we did at that at that part um, was make sure that the uh, blue rocket shooting thing didn't actually shoot any rockets at us. Also, the ninja just absolutely destroys UFOs. <laughs> Now we are ascending to the heavens. <laughs> So now we've got uh, Toy Town 
and uh, just want to make a quick comment on that phrasing that was on the TV screen. If you saw it, it said, uh, "Let's go out with the monkeys," promoting bestiality all day, every day. Way to go, monkeys! So we're gonna go in here. Um, we're going to we're going to destroy this car with um, pellets. Watch it explode, and then go catch the monkey. Gadgets ready. Yeah, yeah with uh, the fantasy night, you can actually catch these monkeys even after they've already gone into their net, into their uh, homes for safety. I'm supposed to uh, uh, change the scenery from day to night, or from I think it's night to day. But uh, we don't have to do that. Very bad uh, blue monkey. Also, we're going to be doing a clip here. Um, so that monkey down there, um, we would normally use like the RC car to get to him and uh, take him, uh, take the RC car through like this whole extravagant like. Um, Like little maze thing, obstacle course, whatever. And uh, what we're actually going to do, not if the camera's like that. And also, if we get it. basically trying to wedge ourselves between the got it and we fell we got it and then we lost it almost had it Got it, got it, got it, got it. There we go.
Hmm. Not doing too bad. So now we're going to, um, so th this next movie, TV show, or whatever, is basically the, uh, the Titanic. Only we're not going to sink it. We're supposed to, but we're not going to. The Bonantic. Just like in 8 2, we actually get to use the boat this time. Only this time, instead of lava, it's freezing cold water. Also, this is the. Uh, so, this is the, I guess, cousin of the um, the mammoth that we fought earlier <laughs> only instead of the uh, Instead of the Fantasy Knight, we can destroy it much, much faster with the Miracle Ninja. There's another one of uh, Uni's fans. In this last uh, part of the stage, we want to go in with the uh, with the slingback shooter and try to hit that button as early as possible so that we don't have to wait for it to spin back around. Luckily, we got it. Oh, so we just caught uh, Santa Claus. And some of his helpers. Um, so we just got another uh, transformation. It's the uh, Genie Dancer. <coughs> um, you basically turn into a um, like I guess it's like a, a Genie Summoner, <laughs> and uh, that Genie produces a beat that is so captivating that it makes anything around it dance. We're supposed to use it on this monkey here. 
Looks like we're. Yep, we're going to. Thank you, Philly. Good luck, uh, er, uh, is that Jugario? Is that how you pronounce that? So yeah, we don't want to catch any more monkeys in there. Um, gonna get a little bit more time. Hopefully, have enough time to catch these guys. That was a uh, couple on. The only thing that probably tells me that Digimon might have had a hand in uh, making this game. Actually, um, there's another monkey that I caught earlier in this game. That's uh, that was Leomon, and this is Genghismon. Names are, are probably the best part of this game. We're actually doing very, very good right now. Here I go. As far as time is concerned.
Oh, don't transform. That was, that could have gone better. But essentially Monkey Pink escaped. Um, we tried to capture her, and she got away from us. Also, I find it very impressive that uh, this little girl can uh, hold her breath for as long as she can, get out of the water, catch a monkey, and then fall back into the water. Another member of the fan club. Probably the easiest clip in the entire game. Capturing girls is illegal. Are you talking about uh, Monkey Pink? Okay. Yeah. I 
figured that's who you were talking about. Yeah, she does. She counts as a monkey. Now we are high, high up in the sky. Now this level has a a few major skips in it. Um, however, one of them is only uh, accessible to people playing on the Japanese version, which I am not. So while we ride up this uh, airplane, the little, uh, I guess, I guess you could call it a dance, or we're just messing around with the uh, little hoop. Try to get some more morph of our uh, more of our morph gauge here. Um, we only have one morph stock filled. We need two. And just like in Ape Escape 1, uh, we switch from the Sky Flyer to literally any other gadget to make us fall faster.
and uh, once again our friend the elephant shaped tank makes an appearance here. You can catch that monkey without knocking him out or knocking him down. And uh, this is where one of the major skips for this level is. Um, we're not going to be taking it though. Instead, uh, well, because I'm not on Japanese. And uh, we're actually going to show you that a that if you're in a tank and there's fire, um, apparently you can dodge the fire. You really need a tank to catch monkeys. Seems like overkill, but they, yeah, they, they've evolved. They're, they're much worse. I almost got that. So that's the only real major skip we can abuse in, in the American version. I'm actually surprised I got it as quick as I did. Um, sometimes I don't even get it at all. in a mech. Yeah, and uh, you can't really just give him a banana. I mean, some of them you can, but for the most part, you need more than just bananas. Hopefully I didn't go into the training room. Okay, we're good. So we aren't supposed to go this way. And there's a possible clip coming up uh, that we might be able to get if I do this right. Got 
got it. Also, now that monkey's probably scared of us because we just clipped through a wall and he was witness to all of it. <laughs> so as far as he's concerned, we are a team. And, uh, this is one of the, like, it's a little bit longer level, I mean, clearly, we're still in it. Um, I will say, though, this is one of my more favorite levels, just because of how it looks. Go ahead and open that. Try not to die. Well, that failed miserably. And that monkey's a very good actor because his partner's not even there. And he's just like, nope, I'm still doing this. here this monkey hopefully our timer doesn't run out there we go And once again, we've got Mr. Fart Monkey himself, Monkey Red, who we're supposed to use the um, the most recent transformation we got on. But it's much faster if we use the American. Now we're fighting it again, just in the dark. Huh. 
take care of him super fast. I believe we have one more level um, where we actually capture monkeys and then we have um, we've got two more levels after that Then we've got more cars that we're just going to destroy with pellets. And we're just going to watch them explode. here just for the sake of safety obviously we aren't supposed to be back this way but you know through the rules we have glitches be able to catch this monkey. Nope. 
two attempts is all I give him. I'm pretty sure those are the only monkeys that you can catch uh, before they go into the UFOs. I was just bad and let that one get into his. Also, how are we not swimming? I feel like are very famous for. Last monkey. And that should be all the monkeys we need to catch. Except for Spectre. she was going to say was that she's located Spectre. Uh, we just got the Cyber Ace transformation and now we're going to uh, Tomoki City. So this is Cyber Ace. Um, moves just as fast as the uh, as the Miracle Ninja, but can also fly. So I'm just gonna build up some more morph stock while we take our little trip. Some more morph stock. make it so that we don't fall to our death. 
avoid Dr. Tomoki's um, weird habit of having... Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Well, tried to do a cutscene skip there. Uh, this is actually a cutscene that we could not skip. And we're just gonna take a trip and get some more stock. Grab one up here. Don't really need it. I wasn't sure if we did or not. I'm scared of monkey. So now um, we just went inside the Tomoki Tower's butt, basically. And now we just gotta climb to the top. Some, you know, some uh, you know, fine products. But I'm sure we're making this man a lot of money. And kill this, see if it gives us a cookie, and it does. We could kill some more. We don't really need to. Well, <laughs> that's one way to do it. Let's get some more. So obviously right there we were supposed to use the uh, the ninja transformation but it's actually more beneficial to use the uh, the cyber ace Now we just have to shoot these two, uh, these two switches. There is a clip you can do at the door, um, but I'm not good at it. There we go. Welcome. <laughs> 
So now we have to defeat Dr. Tomoki. Here I go. There we go. Smokey is defeated. Here I go. Honestly, he can be one of the hardest bosses of the game if you let him be, but otherwise, as long as you can hit him and get his uh, robot down. He's not hard at all. So there are two ways to get up to the top here. Well, um, one of them includes doing a uh, what's called a double net float. Um, I'm not practiced enough in that, so I'm just going to do the regular method. If my ride didn't leave me so quick. Another grand cookie so we don't die. Wait for a ride. And now we're going to um never mind. We're just gonna fall to our death. here for a minute. We're going to uh, clip into the bottom of this floor. There we go. So close. There we go. Transform. 
Mm, actually, we're not gonna wait. And now we're getting to the final uh, boss fight. I don't know if you guys have noticed throughout all three of these games, but uh, Spectre kind of really likes the uh, using apes or like ape robots as his means of attacking you. I'm not sure why, you know, I think he's got like an obsessive habit. Morph gauge. That way we've got two. some more shots because we are a little girl we shouldn't be taking shots so now we've destroyed uh, the monkey robot's arms and legs. Now it can't move. Now we're going in for the kill. Oh, that was easy. Oh, time is going to be when I actually catch Spectre. By the way, no I'll let you know when. And uh, that's actually a PB for me. We did it, Kay? Yeah, but I can't seem to shake 
Oh my god, that's an yeah. awesome PB. <laughs> what could it be? Hey, Kay, what do you think you're laughing at? Wait just a minute, boys and girls. I'm gonna make sure I save that. About the chop rocket? If we don't do something, the Earth will be split in two. Oh, right! Not to worry, though. Who better to stop the chop rocket than I, its creator? There is a spacecraft down on the lower deck. You two can use it to get back to Earth. Hurry now! Go! There's no time! Okay! We're relying on you! See you later, wig dude! Good luck, Dr. Tomoki! Oh, um... <laughs> Until we meet again! Time has already passed. Unless you want to keep the timer going for Mesogear Gear Solid. self-destruct system that's mounted in this space station. Identity confirmed. Beginning self-destruct sequence. Computer, status report on the escape rocket. Status launched. Okay, self-destruct sequence B, start. My, I haven't felt so good about myself in years. I'm so glad that I met you. Okay, you me. Thank you. Goodbye. Are, are we keeping the timer going? Why, if it isn't number 1182. So you've come to spend our last few minutes together. <laughs> Silly little thing. Here we go. Hey, the space station. Dr. Tamoki! Timer ends at the end of SOS. <laughs> <laughs>